talk for just a moment about sincerity because this is something that comes into discussions about Christianity. And uh, I, I think it's given more weight in the discussion than it deserves. In other words, people think, well, as long as you're sincere in whatever it is you believe, if there is a God, that's all that really matters to him, okay? And, and why wouldn't sincerity matter to God? And my answer is because sincerity matters almost in nothing in life. You see, sir, when you give a sincere apology and the person you are apologizing to forgives you, not only does it show good on your character, it also shows that you're willing to understand that you've made a mistake and you're willing to change as to, you know, not make the same mistake again. Sincerity matters in almost anything you do. Hell, I've heard people complain that some things don't sound sincere enough. And I've also heard people say, oh, that was so sincere. He was so sincere when he apologized. I forgive. Are you telling me that if anyone does anything bad and sincerely apologizes for it and never makes the same mistake again, you don't forgive them? I'm baffled. Anything important, anything critical, anything that has significant consequence in life, it, sincerity doesn't matter. People are sincerely deluded all the time, make massive mistakes in life, and they're very sincere, but they're wrong, and they're devastating consequences, and the fact that they were sincere saved them not one whit. Yeah, people like Hitler are bad. He definitely had extreme consequences, and yeah, he was sincere about the things he did. But I have a feeling you're going to compare atheists to Hitler later on in the video. It might not be directly, but... It's probably going to be implied, but who knows? I'll, I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the, of the doubt. I was just reading this morning in John chapter 4. The ones who want to worship God must worship in spirit and in truth. I mean, the issue of God is the most important issue anyone can discuss. Not to me. I don't believe in God, so who cares? The reason I make videos in the first place is to show that atheists aren't immoral and that we're people too. And I, that's the most important issue to me. I, I don't... I don't, I don't care about, you know, God. There are all kinds of sincere beliefs that take people in all kinds of different directions. That doesn't mean that that disqualifies um, their conduct, their sin, their rebellion, whatever. Yeah, I get your point. Just because people believe sincerely that some races are superior to others doesn't make it right. Yeah, I get your point. Rebellion, though? I don't know about that. You're kind of losing me, buddy. When it comes to the critical issues of life, I mean, just think of medicine, for example. You can have all kinds of sincere beliefs about bad medicine, and you're not going to get better. This is why Paul, in Romans chapter 10, says this of the Jews. He says, I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but it's not in accordance with knowledge for not knowing about God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own, they did not subject themselves to the righteousness of God, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. So you're saying that all Jews are going to hell, right? If they don't believe in your particular side, they believe theirs. That means that they're wrong and they're going to hell, right? So if I was born in a Jewish family that celebrated Hanukkah and, and, you know, stuff like that, I'm going to hell even though I was born in the beliefs that I currently hold. It doesn't matter if I even die young. If I died a Jew, I'm going to hell, right? I was sincere about being a Jew, but who cares? Being sincere doesn't matter. Down into the internal punishment I go. Do you see the problem here? So Paul says there at the beginning of that chapter that why well, here's a group of people that really are zealous for God, but they're getting it all wrong. Yeah, fuck the entire group of people and fuck everyone else. We're the right ones. We follow God correctly in your face. Why? Well, there's complex reasons why, but the important point here is he makes it clear that sincerity doesn't matter. Oh, you're not going to explain it because it's too complex. Get the fuck out of here. Now, if you're willing to go along with the idea that no, 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 God is going to be fine with the sincere person, what you're going to have to come up with is a good justification for that, and it cannot be just wishful thinking. Yes, come up with a reason why my wishful thinking is wrong, but make sure you don't use wishful thinking. Okay, find a text, 
find a document, find a place where God himself, in a some authoritative way, says all you need to do is be sincere and it doesn't matter where you go, what you believe, how you live. Sincerity is the real deal. But you're not going to find that, not in the Bible. And I don't think you're going to find that anywhere else that is authoritative for God. If you're going to make a claim about what God is really after, sincerity in this case, you better be able to authenticate it in some reliable way, because everything rides on this. Let's look at this graph for a moment. Do you see a problem here? You honestly believe that 5.11 billion people are going to hell. That's what it sounds like. You're telling me that it's not only okay, but righteous of God to send 5.11 billion people to hell for not following Christianity. And that's even assuming that there are no denominations. This is pretending that no denominations exist. You need to seriously reevaluate your beliefs because this is fucking abhorrent. Now, he's not saying... 5.11 billion people are going to hell. In fact, I doubt he even believes that. But what I am going to say is he needs to really think about his beliefs. He needs to really fucking think about it because to me, it sounds like he just doesn't give a shit. It sounds like to me that he doesn't care if half the world falls off because they didn't believe in God. They didn't believe in the right God. They didn't follow him correctly. Now, he doesn't even say that they're going to hell. He says it in a way that they're not going to be forgiven. They won't be accepted, which basically means they're going to hell. I've heard of this manipulation tactic before. I mean, I've been to a church before, and one of the people at the church, I was in this classroom with a few other people, and one of the people at the church said that a good, nice guy who's always nice all of his life, but isn't baptized, he doesn't get to go to heaven. But somebody who's kind of mean and bad But he got baptized. He went to heaven. Why is that? And of course I responded with, oh, because the the nice guy, he didn't get baptized. And then the dude's like, bingo. You see, he didn't say that the nice guy was going to go to hell, but it was implied. And that was the first thing that popped into my mind too. That's how they get to you. They don't say it specifically because it sounds bad. They imply it. They want you to think about it and come to the conclusion yourself so that it reinforces itself in your brain. That's why people like this bother me. Okay, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like we did. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Bye-bye.